MCAT 2015 CRAM Physical Foundations Question Flashcard 33 Action Reaction Pair Which of the following force pairs represents an action reaction pair? Is it A, the downward force of gravity on a falling object and the force of air resistance upward at terminal velocity? Is it B, the component of gravity along the plane of the incline on the block and the static frictional force up along the plane? This should be mu sub s for static, so pretend that a sub k is a sub s, okay? Is it C, the force of the horse on the cart and the force of the cart on the horse? Or is it D, the weight of the book and the normal force from the table? All right, I know that was really fast, but hopefully you've, you've had some time to think your way through. And if you haven't figured out the correct uh, answer yet, definitely press pause. All right? An action-reaction pair must consist of A, forces that are of the same type, such as two field forces, or two contact forces, an example of a field force is a force due to the gravitational field around the Earth, and a contact force would be um, a normal force from a surface, okay? And B, they must act on different objects. So these are the two qualifiers for an action-reaction pair. So the in the title card, the picture that I present to you is a misnomer. I'm not sure if that's conceptually correct, but I show a book laying on a table experiencing the gravitational force, field force of gravity, its weight, and the contact force of um, the normal force of the table surface. First of all, these are not two of the same types of forces, so that disqualifies the possibility of being an action-reaction pair, and they both act on the same object, the book, okay? All right, so let's look at this a little bit more. Weight is a field force, and normal force is a contact force. So they are not the same type, and they act on the same object. That is, they both act on the book. So um, that can be eliminated. Answer choice D is incorrect. So at terminal velocity, the force of gravity equals the force of air resistance. Sorry, that went by really fast. Um, but they are not the same type. And uh, you can see that they're acting on the same falling objects. So that disqualifies them also, okay? So answer choice, um, let's see, A is incorrect. The gravity along the plane of an incline and uh, the static frictional force, this mu sub um, k should be an S for static because the block is not in motion, um, are equal, but they are not the same type of force, okay? Uh, this Friction is a type of contact force, and gravity, again, is a field force. And they act on the same object, the block, so they're disqualified as well. So answer choice uh, B is incorrect. That leaves answer choice C. Okay, the force of the horse on the cart and the force of the cart on the horse, well, this uh, action-reaction pair, they're both two types of contact forces, and one is acting on the other. They're not both acting on the same object. So these force vectors show that one is acting on the other. Therefore, they're both acting on different objects. And this is the only example of a contact force. Although a lot of people would argue for the book, well, this is misleading in physics because it's not an action-reaction pair. So the horse and cart example are the action-reaction pair. I think I misspoke something just now. I can't remember what it is, though. All right. I know that was a mouthful. Thanks for listening.